Nearly 11,000 meters below the ocean's surface lies a realm, untouched by sunlight, where crushing pressure defies imagination. This is the Mariana Trench, Earth's deepest frontier, a place we know less about than the surface of Mars. Yet, one nation is charging into this abyss with unprecedented ambition. China is deploying cutting-edge deep-sea robots, constructing underwater bases, and quietly staking claims to the treasures below. Not just for science, but for power. As other nations like the US scale back ocean research, China is diving deeper, moving faster, and investing more aggressively than ever. What lies in these depths, and why is China so determined to claim it first? We've sifted through research, tracked vessels, and consulted experts to uncover a story few are talking about. A race that could reshape the future. To understand the stakes, let's dive into the Mariana Trench, a colossal underwater canyon in the western Pacific, east of the Philippines. It's the planet's deepest chasm, a place so extreme, it challenges the limits of exploration. Let's journey through the ocean's layers to grasp what's at stake. At the surface, the epipelagic zone, often called the photic zone, teems with life. Coral reefs, vibrant fish, and warm, sunlit waters define this familiar layer, stretching just 200 meters down. It's where we swim, surf, and sail, but it's only the ocean's shallowest skin. Descend to 200 to 1,000 meters, and you enter the mesopelagic zone, or twilight zone. Sunlight dims to near darkness, and pressure surges to 10 times that at sea level, enough to crush most surface creatures. Here, life adapts in eerie ways. The oarfish, a serpentine giant longer than a bus, glides through the gloom, while sea angels, translucent winged slugs, flutter in the dark. Animals lose color, grow massive eyes, or develop soft, flexible bodies to withstand the intensifying pressure. At 1,000 meters, the bath Ipelagic zone, known as the Midnight Zone, begins. Total darkness reigns, broken only by bioluminescent glows from creatures like the Magna Pinna squid, with its six-meter spidery arms dangling like ghostly threads. Pressure here reaches 100 times surface levels, equivalent to 1i500 pounds per square inch, like an elephant pressing on your fingertip from every angle. The blobfish, often mocked for its gelatinous appearance, thrives here, its body perfectly, adapted to this crushing environment. At the surface, without pressure, it collapses into a shapeless mass, a stark reminder of the deep's extremes. By 4,000 meters, you reach the abyssopelagic zone, or simply the abyss. It's cold, silent, and dark, with life sparse but resilient. The seafloor appears as endless mud, but this sediment hides a secret. Over millions of years, organic matter, dead fish, plankton, and waste drifts down as marine snow, forming carbon-rich layers up to a kilometer thick. This mud traps carbon, making the deep sea a critical planetary carbon sink. Occasionally, a whale fall transforms this barren landscape. When a whale's carcass sinks, it becomes a feast for scavengers like hagfish, sharks, worms, and bacteria, sustaining ecosystems for years. Tiny worms cling to bones, thriving in a world where food is scarce, and pressure, 400 times surface levels, crushes all but the most adapted. Below 6,000 meters lies the Hadal Zone, named for Hades, the Greek god of the underworld. This is trench territory, where pressure exceeds 600 times surface levels, requiring near-indestructible submersibles. At nearly 11,000 meters, you hit the Mariana Trench's floor, deeper than Everest is tall. Pressure here equates to 90 elephants pressing on every fingertip-sized patch of your body. Yet life persists. Xenophyophores, giant single-celled organisms, filter food from the mud while pale shrimp scuttle across the seafloor. These creatures are marvels of adaptation, thriving where most life would collapse. 
Within the Mariana Trench lies its deepest point, Challenger Deep, a pit plunging beyond 11,000 meters. First reached in 1960 by Jacques Picard and Don Walsh, it remained untouched for decades until James Cameron's 2012 solo dive and Victor Vescovo's later missions. These were rare, costly endeavors, but China's approach is different, methodical, scalable, and relentless. In 2020, China's Fenduji submersible carried three explorers to Challenger Deep. Unlike past one-off missions, China didn't stop there. They developed smaller, more advanced subs, designed for repeated dives. By 2024, they deployed shoebox-sized robots that crawl the seafloor autonomously, surviving pressures that would crush steel. These machines mark a shift from sporadic exploration to a scalable strategy. China is building fleets of these robots, gliding, crawling, flexing through the deep, covering vast areas at a fraction of the cost of manned missions. Why this urgency? The deep sea holds more than scientific wonders. Cold seeps where methane and hydrogen sulfide bubble up sustain ecosystems of mussels, clams, and tube worms that thrive without sunlight, using chemical energy. These sites are natural laboratories, offering insights into extreme life and potential energy systems, even mirroring conditions on Jupiter's and Saturn's moons. Then there's methane hydrate, or fire ice, a frozen fuel trapped in ice cages. It could power the future, but extracting it risks underwater landslides or massive methane releases, a greenhouse gas disaster. Scattered across the seafloor are polymetallic nodules, small potato-like rocks packed with cobalt, nickel, copper and manganese, critical for batteries and renewable energy. Mining them involves robotic vehicles scraping the seafloor, sucking up nodules and sediment and pumping them to surface ships. But this process creates sediment plumes that can smother fragile ecosystems and drift for miles. Waste pumped back into the ocean adds to the damage. Sink. Scientists warn that deep-sea habitats, which take millennia to form, could take centuries to recover, if they recover at all. Disrupting these ecosystems risks wiping out undiscovered species and destabilizing the ocean's carbon. China's ambitions go beyond mining. They're planning a permanent underwater base at 2,000 meters, housing scientists for month-long missions. Like a space station on the seafloor, it offers time. Time to test tools, monitor ecosystems, and build expertise few nations can match. This isn't just exploration, it's preparation for dominance. China's investment in robots, bases, and talent, training ocean engineers, biologists, and roboticists while luring global experts, sets them apart. Meanwhile, the U.S. is slashing budgets for NOAA, its ocean research agency, driving scientists away as funding dries up. Beneath the ocean lie data cables, hair-thin glass fibers carrying 95% of global internet traffic. These cables, vital for communication, trade, and security, are vulnerable. A single anchor drag can sever them. In 2025, China unveiled a deep-sea robot capable of cutting cables, officially for repairs. But its potential for sabotage raises alarms, especially after reports of Russian ships lingering near cable routes. Control of the seafloor means control of these lifelines, shifting global power dynamics. China's discoveries, resources, tools, and expertise position them to dictate the deep sea's future. As the U.S. retreats from ocean science, China surges forward, building infrastructure to operate where others can't. The deep sea is Earth's last wild frontier, but it's fragile. Rushing in without oversight could destroy ecosystems and unleash environmental chaos. History offers a lesson. The space race led to collaboration, yielding the International Space Station. A similar approach could protect the deep sea, balancing exploration with preservation. But if one nation dominates this frontier, the consequences, scientific, environmental, and geopolitical, will ripple across the globe. China's next move? 
they're already eyeing lunar caves, hinting at ambitions beyond Earth's depths. If you're fascinated by the mysteries of the deep sea and the race to uncover Earth's last frontier, don't miss out on more untold stories. Subscribe to Mr. BS for gripping dives into science, exploration, and the hidden forces shaping our world. Hit that notification bell to stay updated, and check out our latest video on lunar caves to see where China's ambitions are headed next. Join the Mr. BS community. Let's explore the unknown together.